for the starter i'll start with three stories uh first of first story is about unmeasurable to measurable second story is about balance imbalance and motion and the third story we will try to uh, get a birds eye view of the blueprint of this matrix kind of world we live in so i'm very excited to be kicking off the first video today and uh, do subscribe and like if you enjoy physics and uh, of course the content that is coming up all right international definition international standard international way of defining it and it has progressed over the time and the latest definition of one second is actually this this is what all the scientists have agreed upon so well uh, i think that it's very good me and i gave it a four star rating let's check out the second meme here uh, all right so the second meme is uh, rated by me five star let's see how what it is uh, what girls think stress looks like well what boys think stress looks like stress is equal to force upon area what stress actually looks like well i don't have to read and explain these memes to you but i felt that it's a five star meme it's pretty uh cool uh i your opinion of how many stars you give this would be different you you can give give this let's say only 3 star let's say uh well this is the last meme <laughs> we are going to be reviewing today so the last meme is when you are in high school and you browse reddit physics memes all right so i don't get it obviously to get the memes of physics you need to understand a little bit of physics and high schoolers generally don't understand much of physics but we are going to change that i i think uh, we can uh, gear towards changing and understanding these memes uh, understanding like studying physics to clear exams it's different but studying physics to just understand these memes uh i gave it a 3 star rating i uh, i think you can like any one of you can will be for can give it a 2 star rating it's very subjective by the way when i'm saying that i'm rating a meme it's very subjective uh what i mean by being subjective is uh, most of the time when we rate a meme it it can make sense to us or not so it's very subjective so this is not universal in fact if you are a teacher and you ask your eight graders to read these memes and you can uh, you know you can divide them in group of five and each five students group of five students can uh, will have to agree on one rating that we give, give to this memes so everyone have to you know kind of convince each other of, of a similar rating and then each group will come to know how hard it is to agree on a on a on a rating that they all agree with so that gives us an opportunity to look into uh, things that cannot be measure, measure, measured or things that are rated rather than measured uh, i would have said that okay uh, the measurement of this meme is five funny or something 10 funny uh, but that is like fun is a emotion or funny some being something funny is very subjective so Uh, that's the story. That's the first story. Uh, unmeasurable, too measurable, and how your students or how you think about it. That's equally important because you know now that each rating, everyone rating this meme will be different, of course. So, uh, what I'm trying to uh, say here are that some things cannot be measured. So let's ask ourselves this question: That can we measure something? So let's ask us ourselves. uh this question because we are guided by questions in this uh couple of uh, you know classes that i will be recording so or i i must not say it as a class because it's better living with physics so it's equally interesting for anyone but if i ask this question that uh can we measure something can we measure it 
if the answer to this is yes we can measure it or it can be no we cannot measure it no or yes if it cannot be measurable then that kind of quantities are called emu quantity and why emu because uh, it's emotional it's emotional quantity and you might be wondering like uh, quantity and then emotional does it even make sense like people are uh, try to devote their life to try to study these emotional quantities uh and those people are called psychologist and their way of arriving or rating something emotional is very very interesting so i will give you an example about how it is interesting and uh, how do psychologists try to measure emotional emotional things or quantities when we know that it cannot be mes- measured so what they aim at doing is trying to give these emotional quantity a rating rather than trying to measure it in a unit and how they devise the unit is let's say that we want to devise a unit pain index so or they can make a index out of it so that's how they these are the few things they rate it or the index different types of emotions that they that that they kind of uh, uh, how they do it is they ask people uh, to take part in uh, surveys and that is how they kind of figure out how emotional people are related to a question or a situation so um, what they do is let's say that we want to pain we want to rate a uh, pain and we want to make a pain index the lowest pain level is let's say uh, a mosquito bite uh, that's uh, that's uh, and let's say that uh, the highest pain level is uh, let's say that uh, it's a snake bite okay so we can we can take it randomly so if if it is a snake bite then let's give it a rating of 100 pain index and let's give this a rating of 0 or ju- just the bare minimum one pain index so anything in between will be relative to these and will be classified further right maybe falling from a bike will be uh, will be somewhere in between right uh, so uh, what i'm trying to tell you is that it's not a uh, uh, useless trying to uh, you know make these index because knowing how what emotions and quantifying what uh, emotions you are feeling can help a uh, psychologist to help their patients and uh, well but uh, being this channel is not better living with psychology but it's better living with physics so let's talk about the other aspect can we measure it yes we can measure it then what it will be called then it will be called a physical quantity and why like who study these quantities physicists study these quantities obvious right uh, before i venture further let me just say that emotional quantities depends on person to person it's individual specific individual specific how person perceives it okay but physical quantity on the other hand is not it's measurable the reason we call it measurable it's measurable first of all and uh when we say something is measurable that means it's a physical quantity and it does not depend on it will not change uh based on who is taking the reading so it will not change based on who is taking the reading it will not change based on person measuring it or rating it we will we'll not call it rating anymore because we can measure it in fact so measuring it uh and what are the essential conditions for a physical quantity to qualify as a physical quantity so qualify as physical quantity what are the checklist so this is going to be interesting so 
uh, it should have a number or magnitude to it if it has to qualify as anything written uh, if it needs to be qualified as a physical quantity you can think that it should have a number and what it can it should also have is a unit and these are the essential conditions one of the condition is optional what is this optional condition you can think that a physical quantity apart from having number and unit can have direction or will need direction direction if direction is there needed needed to to fully define that physical quantity then that kind of physical quantity are called vectors vector that's me cuz i'm committing crimes with both direction and magnitude oh yeah you might have heard about it and these the bare minimum condition that is qualified by a physical by a quantity is just number and unit and those are scalars um, well this is the first story and uh, i'll meet you in the second story